Hello. That's it. None, do not disturb. I didn't check the achievements before. Was it this one? Hermit. Bad luck. What was this? No, that's not. Ah. Long saw. When you first play through. Actually, killing me. Is this <laughs> backstory? Meh. Delusion by with medical care. You know, you'll need to pay up. Sour uh, extra experience and vengeance, but each damage can cause an injury. <sighs> Ooh. So I landed with the guy that I was strength, personality, and knowledge. Second one. Hi. Hi. Goodbye. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, it's five. All right. So, so I'm guessing quick play is just absolutely random because I, if I remember right, there were. Th I think I got one with three. Spine chilling story of school scissors. Curious case of contagious coma. Contagious. Sorrowful saga of the moonlight sailors. Ron report of a rancid ramen. Macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. Almost all of these are new. Except this one. This one is kind of standard as is by now. Where is my dice? You guys want to make a suggestion? Six. Mm. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Six twice. So that would be Rotten Report of a Ransom Ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen re restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. 
The shambling customers stuff themselves in dish after dish while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning, polishing his gleaming knives. Is that a face? You are determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so... Knowledge... This gave me... what? This gives me knowledge, yeah. Should check with the the dog. Fuck. <laughs> this would be a bad weapon for now. Maybe the hospital has bad weapons for knowledge or perception. Experimental drug, more reasoning, but less stamina. Ugh. Manage prescription pills and painkillers. The problem is they're addictive. Manage painkiller prescription. I'm gonna run the timer at this point. Bo Bone saw? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Extra damage against undead enemies. I was looking for like a scalpel or something, but no. Square two item cards, complete this quest. So I know if I call the police. I think that he always runs. Lock knocking knock awakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts a deep voice from behind the door. I know you're in there. Oh, I need a dexterity check. Oh. Before you can answer, the door's, door's letter box suddenly opens, and an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back and lurch. Back in shock, the man sees you and tries to get in. Screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police, and the attacker escapes through your apartment building. Minus two reason. Shit! Okay. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter nor leave. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Read the letters, or check them later. Luck check with success. So it seems you, it seems you won that it seems that you won a small amount of money in the lottery. Lucky you. The only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant itself. You're rustling it on, on the other side of the, your apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. Hi. I'm not interested. Shit, stamina. Missed? Ah, so knowledge affects your attack speed.
abdominal cut. to the hospital, get that checked up. No, oh wait, I, uh, I pressed the wrong button. All right. Let's see, if you find out yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital, you take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary, where doctors determined the causes of death. Let's just skip it. Hey, free item. Nice. Perception check. Something flashes in the corner of a dusty drawer, and you reach for it. It's a certain kit, which may come in, come in handy. <laughs> which may come in handy later. But what I wanted to do was this. Simple condition. Nothing happens. Eat. Yeah, I guess. So I have to describe it for it to counts. Experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of 20 stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of the oh, oh, park. You can cast one spell without paying anything. I don't have any spells. That was real good. The smell around the horizon is of power. Grease rot in. Is that blood you can smell? I think it's a little bit too hot. Yeah, okay. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty. Yes, this is what I need. You shudder seeing the weird woman reaching to her pocket and grabbing a nasty looking knife. Pretty face. Mind if I borrow it? It's not a ghost line, then there's no point in doing this. What have you done? My face! It's ruined! Oh, and that's my- sorry. I'm, I'm really fucking sorry. Lucky earrings. Extra luck never har harms. One ramen, please. The owner grins why the owner's grin widens. It's finally your turn to order. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days she's moderating a web form dedicated to paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful. Coffee? Chat. Coffee? Chat. Coffee. In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, <laughs> you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the earth once more. Once again. Once more, I think it works. Could this be the reason for recent horrific events? Nah, I just think everybody's fucking crazy. 
The red ball is pushed in your face. It's so crowded you're forced to sit on the floor. Imagine going to a restaurant and you're like, see, there's no place for you to sit. Just sit on the fucking floor. Sometimes we don't see anyone on the streets. I could have sworn it was crowded just a moment ago. You better hurry, hurry out, out of here. With a slick hand, you, f you fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. With pulling some of the delicate strings, you, you get the ramen on, into a lab. While, hand, 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 blah, 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 blah. While handing it over, the gather material you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Just the vial? Oh, so lab results, partial. Mere day, you frame ran into your door. Her face is pale and in shaky hand. I showed an analysis sheet. You usher in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts. While they could not identify some of the particles, they did discover the highly addictive drug in the broth. The restaurant has to be immediately closed down. Must be. Well. We can let our police and official stand where the ramen shop rest, restaurant used to be. Nothing remains but a gap in the streets. And a most confused customers. You'd like to believe it. You'd believe that was the end of it. But snippets in the newspaper from other cities unsettle you. Brief articles about an exciting new ramen restaurant opening in its mis own mysterious owner keep showing up. You can no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. That's it, drugs. Winds of plague. A worried epidemic keeps staff of the hospital busy. Skipping along will cost you more. Why is it so dark? What the fuck? Hello. An empty bottle. I could have used it to get to get more um, stamina, but I'd rather have some experience and bump that up to 100. Deduction. Extra XP bonus for completing a mystery. Reporter's bag, inventories, uh, additional inventory slot. Leadership. Uh, extra charisma. Might actually use leadership. One charisma, which I can use to fix this. But the deduction has extra experience, which I can use to gather more stamina and reason. I'm not really running out of inventory space. Nah, I'll go with deduction and knowledge. Hello. Once a year, a ramen shop opens where there was once an alleyway. The ramen sold inside is made of from its former patrons, but can cure any health problem. How many numbers can I put in this? How many numbers can I put in this? What the fuck? <laughs> it goes over. <laughs> Wait, oh, does it go over the border? Hold up. Nah, it doesn't. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done being a dumbass.
<laughs> Alright, where's the dice? Six. I guess I could count that as the two former later later ones. Two former five. Words. You know I'm pissed off when I just go like words. <laughs> I guess I'll flip the coin to see if it's middle or the last one. Let's see. Heads. That's number three. It's full saga of the Moonlight Sailors. began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. Dark, writhing ooze that mesmerized them beyond control. Where the fuck is my phone? Oh, it's right there. Yeet. He hid himself for away for a week, adoring it. Not be seen again until one moonlight Moon, moonlit night, when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away. A single lantern swinging at the helm, and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Ah! <laughs> now more and more fishermen have begun to, to find the vile ooze in their nets. And one by one, they're disappearing. Soon the ocean will take them all. I'll start. And I, I'll start. You started your investigation, hoping to overhear some rumors at the fish market. This cart son of a. I'm not mad. What are you talking about? Suddenly, an empty, empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. All right, you cover yourself from the glass fragments and notice the maskless salesman holding a base. Oh. I was gonna say, it's the same fucking bastard. Did I get my knowledge back? Yes, I did. I missed, and I missed. Alright. I missed, and I hit. Prescri prescription? What the fuck? It's, it's for an expensive pharmacy drug. Wait a minute. Fill prescription. Fill prescription cost four. Wait, could I use it before? I can't tell. <laughs> Use fill prescription costs. Doesn't mean I can just. Oh, 
Also, holy shit, my health is fucked. So I guess prescription is for the doctor. What? Why is a dog over there? <laughs> Just noticed, why is a dog over there? <laughs> Give me that. Okay, so that ain't my funds. All right. Although you brave the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact the fisherman wi had a wife. Oh, okay. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. Hmm. Perhaps I should. I said, uh, well, take some peace of mind. I need the fucking cash. Uh, when you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering in through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. It's a crack, that house. Holding a suspicious person, you enter. You you enter an old rundown museum, a ma mansion house. I am not good with language. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm just fucking dumb. Christ. It stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange mean man anywhere. Was it? I think if I stop you for a moment. Oh, okay, I guess nothing. Uh, search your room. A. Free bottle. Here, please, sorry, liquids. See, the bottles are more useful than the fucking prescription. It can be sold for one fun. I think guessing for prescription can mean you get, we can get rid of one status. I think. The fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen. Needle in, covered in black... I'll take it. I got an injury. I wonder what the fuck it was. C c c what? The excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck? I pick up a book and my arm just fucking blasts. <laughs> Holy shit, that must have been a fucking nasty ass paper cut. <laughs> Hey doctor, uh, can you cover this fucking cut artery? I didn't use the push. What the fuck am I supposed to use? It's for narc. Oh. Random effects, but cost two. Is it? Is it one time use? It's all for one fund. It's not one time use. Hey Chad, look, uh, do, do you want to see if I can get fucked up on this goddamn book? <laughs> Sad, a stable condition. Yeet. That did not count. Okay. You can check the feeling that these small dock buildings hide some terrible f secrets. Hello. Face in the window. Hello. Uh, the young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies between caressing his catch. The beating movements in his arms disturb you. Take some time for me. Jesus, fuck. After a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. Can you go into the fishing trip? Walking on a beach, you discover a giant chart. Oh. Hmm. 
How much damage does this do? Ta what? It missed. The enemy doesn't do anything in this turn. Hey, you want some more coin? Ow. The, oh, I was gonna say, another dusty grimoire? No. <laughs> Corpse dust? Oh, not enough from... Uh, you go in there. And grab this. Back. Drink your wah wah. <laughs> Discard this and discard this. All right, you find each pile of nest nets and hooks prepared for the big hunt. You quickly throw them into the ocean. Maybe that'll stop them from sailing out. I'm telling you, hey Annie, it ain't. Could it be? There's still some hope. I'm gonna fucking get killed because of this goddamn book. <laughs> the full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink black o ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their sh doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only sounds are your ragged breathing and the pounding heartbeat. You arrive to at the water's edge, breathless. The possessed fisher fishermen. The fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across the dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. Fishing seasons end. It's not the sailors. The black beings must have left their bodies. Shocked, you watch them sail their way out of the or or harbor. You are terrified at their power, but relieved that they not w drag their meat puppets with them. Huh? Things never returned, yet mothers who not would not let their child near playing would not let their children play on the beach. At over time people forgot the last time they saw boats on the waves. Although some claim they see strange beings come into the port at night. And that's the ending A. I decided to throw out the fucking nets and done. I got 65 experience, minus 3 doom, got 1 stamina and reasoning back, and the time has passed. I got a new level, and... What the fuck does this do? Your rest action is like, less... What's this doing here? Another key. Fast... A lot of switching equipments during combat counters. Improvise. Throwing items during combat is more effective. And perception checks. Ugh. I could be greedy and get another knowledge point and make my bones all stronger. I don't think I'll be switching equipments during combat. Maybe throwing items like a bottle, but I don't think I will be make use of it. But... Maybe I can just pick up a... Yes, you know what? Actually, I can make use of it. I could pick up a broken bottle, throw it... Do extra damage. But I'll go for perception. <laughs> Nothing in here? Okay. The gr ghost gray mists en enwrap the whole town. Hello. You're there still. Bum, 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 bum. 
Reason or Stamina? First of all, the bottle. What's on TV? Uh, some of our readers report a strange tall man dressed in white taking the metro after, metro after dark, apparently stalking lone passengers. Please take care and avoid traveling alone. Yes, I know you're there. Actually, hold on. Can I just... Aww. <laughs> I can't use that. I might just fucking be abusing that shit. Alright, so... We got three. We can actually use... A six side die for this. How? Just count it as doubles if it counts uh, double the number. I got a four, so that's two. Oh. Actually, bear back. Uh, let's see if I can put the bear back.
Um, alright. You really do like doing jump scare solos too. Which was curious case of contagious so Curious case of a contagious coma. Christ. <laughs> that image is scary as all hell. That is actually really fucking scary. <clears throat> more and more people have fallen conscious and cannot be awakened. People try to wake the patients up, result in them falling into a coma themselves. A whole wing of the hosp town's hospital has been dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people and how they how did this strange illness start? Would it be an illness? Well, it is contagious, but illness does not mean contagion. Or does it? Hey, Vsauce Michael here. <laughs> Let's check the news report about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. Let's get the village location twice to complete this quest. Simple enough. No one answers when you knock at Professor Takeuchi's door. This is odd, since he's normally punch punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you that something is wrong. And you quickly open the door and make your way inside. There's no sign of the, of the professor, but the blood, the quantity of it, it's everywhere. There's little doubt to what has happened. But how and why? I'm just gonna be the fucking out of all. Shit. Feeling hungry, he decided to enter a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special. May with today's catch. Come on, let's have some Billy special, huh? One bite, one heart. See? Feeling it. Feeling. Fuck it all. <clears throat> Ugh. Ugh. Jesus. Feeling the eyes of the restaurant's guests on your back, you take a small bite. Of the smelly food, just to be polite. It's surprisingly good, but you kind of refuse another serving, you know. You might just throw up your guts. <laughs> An old man from the village ends your package. This should help you understand the illness. Dustos. What the fuck? I can sell it. <laughs> okay. So should I use it now or? This actually needs to target any enemy. All right, let's check the school. The corridor is flooded with black sludge. Take a sample of this sludge. Bottle of sludge. Deals extra damage when thrown. Did I pick up the throwing? Take a one with Arcana, sir. Alright. Yep. Get us out? No. We're dead. The boss mentioned a patient zero. Who could they be? It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, and shadows move in a fantastic way and in unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Who could it be? 
Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Just fucking ignore him. Quick, find the tombstone marked with red string. Under the stone, you find a note someone left for you. Just for me? Ah, oh, you shouldn't have. Hmm. Why is there one here? <clears throat> Sorry. You have to sneak into the hospital and borrow the patient zero's information. Hello. You stumble upon a nurse trying to open a door to the intensive care constantly moving. She turns around, her face makes you scream in horror. Doll nurse. Wow. Is this something dead? Dust in the air did nothing. <laughs> You've got the name and the address. Let's get out of here. So why we're still investigating the hospital. You're stopped by a masked man entering the laboratory. Well, uh, wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher from Tokyo University, testing a new treatment to revolutionize modern mo medicine. Holding around a pile of documents, it tells you you can hear, heal your wounds for free. I don't have any wounds. I don't have any wounds. You politely decline the generous offer and continue on your way. Also, I'm sorry for, for that burp. Mission Zero's house seems empty. You should search it carefully. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Armed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in, in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. Now you'd search his wounds for clues. He won't, he won't be needing it. For sure, but he still feels bad about seeing for of course. Eh, nah, fuck it. <laughs> oh, and some bullets. Perception. Oh. I keep damage three, but faster and more chance to hit. Okay. What did I get? A blue jet. Shit, what the fuck should I... I don't need you. Cut my hand. It vibrates slightly in your hand. That meant double in magic. You found a journal describing a certain village and instructions for a summoning ritual. Seems that he tried to contact the being from the dream hours. Shit, I use a fucking dust. This investigation is taking a toll on you, and you start missing the most obvious leads. Quenching wing is guarded closely, you must find a way to sneak through. Now we're gonna get ending B, everybody's gonna fucking die. Hello. Ran like cattle. Are they preparing a feast for their eldritch master? There it is. Let's hope you find your answer. Unanswered. You've managed to sneak through the floor, avoiding the police, and finally reach the quarantine wing, where all the combo patients are, were brought in. 
their pulse is slowly weakening, and the blood pressure is dropping. You must hurry. Complete silence hits you when you reach one of the beds. All patients are fucking dead. Whoops. No! Not the dog! There's like a fucking speck of light just flitting around my fucking face. More knowledge, yes, knowledge. Professor attacks me. Hello, Smokey, it was me. It was me, Dio, all along. Why is it TV? Local deaths has been found guilty of implanting dog teeth on their human patients. What is currently unknown? Man, was a furry. <laughs> Take a bath. Do I have a bottle? I do not. So let's recover stamina. No! Oh. Feel like I'll die. It's definitely where I'm gonna die. Uh, where's the coin? I fucking don't have the coin. Let's get the fucking fat ass coin. One, two, three. That was shit. I nearly fell over. Heads. Alright, heads. That is number one. Spine-chilling story of school scissors. This one can really fuck me up. Another boy from your school has a superior. Rumor has that a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left his he left you his notebook full of crypt cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. He's fucking dead. After you disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that could stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I didn't even check. Wait, go back. X is your sword. Okay, there we go. But the revolver back. I gotta need him now. No, nope, I don't want a prescription. Yeet. They give me the diary. Diary. This sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. Mara's acting a little strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow's. Tomorrow I will perform the ritual. Alright. I hope they're okay. Okay. Alright, so I think if it's. Oh, hey, one bat. I can't tell this. Give me the cash so the guy doesn't go after me. Wait, was there something more in the diary? No. 
Oh. You're stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months, but how could you? She died in an accident. Do you understand the reason of me fuck off? <sighs> Occult Diary. Oh yeah! That is cutting down the time. You feel like something is horrible is happening in school. Within school, you must find those items. Shit. Side door. Well, I don't have any charisma, so. Peek outside. Hello. Come on. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. So then we find stuff. The ritual's not ready. I don't know if you find the girl your friend was talking about. In one hand, a bag. And in the other, Bully's Paris is... Wait a minute. Wasn't Maru already a character? Marked by the scissor lady. Oh! Um, let's get that skidoo to fucking die. You saw through. Oh. You found a blessed char uh, chalk. It was this one and this one. Hopefully there will be enough. N no, I need more. Where is? Where are the candles? Do I have the candles? I don't have the candles. He entered the classroom. The room is cluttered by half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes as eerily realistic. Check out the masks. Hey, free item. I'd rather hold that one knowledge, but thank you for... Giving me the mask. I mean, the sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Give me the candles. Suddenly, everything's supposed to crawl. It's the time warper. Hello. I am all out of fucking reasoning. Fucking eat. Wait, what's that? I don't want your crack of cookies. Please fuck off. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacing. Hey, am I beautiful? Hey! No, you're fucking ugly. Also, you're fucking strong. Um, I'm fucking dead. The fuck happened? I think I killed myself. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Frozen fear, watch as she gets closer. The sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you, Am I beautiful? Well, I got killed by the scissor woman. Shit. I think it was my goddamn fault for meditating too much. Uh oh. Does that give? Did I give? Did I give an achievement? 
Died to the scissor lady. No, I didn't. Good. Use a medical history. You hunt by the call of inheritance. Oh. Buy a return an expensive drug. Get an RND. Oh, you can see? Ah, shit! Well, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Nobody told me. Yeah. God damn it. Not like there was anybody. Oh well. Bye! <laughs>